Okay, welcome back to part three, and um, I'm going to show you how to create and upload complete farm. So first off, after the up after it's been uploaded, we're going to say um, header, and we're going to. If you don't know what header is, it's basically just a redirect. So we're going to say location, and we're going to tell it to after it's been uploaded, go to. Um, upload complete.html so in upload complete.html we're just going to create another html form you don't have to do this as a form but um, it's easier if you know what I mean it's more visual than just clicking a link it's you, you're clicking a button basically. Um, so basically, what I'm just going to say is upload complete to the user, and we're just going to create a farm here and end the farm off right there. And inside here, we want to well, first off, we need the action. Um, and I don't think we need anything other than the action because we're not actually doing anything we, we just want it to act as a link so in that we want it to go to um, uploaded forward slash and I'm going to create a file called file PHP and um, yeah we just need a submit button so import type equals submit uh, we don't need a name and the value we're just going to put has click here to view files um, yeah so that's basically if I just go to upload complete HTML that's basically what it'll look like after the upload has been complete and then they click here and it will take them to another page where they can actually um, view the files that they've uploaded oops sorry. Um, so um, yeah I'm going to create a, another file in uploaded directory um, First off, we need uh, one sec. Just pause that a sec. Okay, um, you don't actually need files.php. You can have HTML if you prefer, which I'll keep as HTML to keep it simple because you don't need PHP. There's no PHP physically inside a file on files.html. So if I um, if I just delete these and if I create another file called inside the uploaded directory called files.html no and basically this is going to be um, uh, I forgot how you do that uh, we, no we don't want PHP server it's um, HTML in it so I don't know what I was doing then. Um, so that's HTML. Basically, what we're just going to create is an iframe. Um, so the iframe source, um, the width, and uh, I think it's and the height. And let's um, forward slash iframe. Right, so the source is we're going to create a file called showfiles.php that does have PHP scripts in it. Um, you can make this however big you want, but I'm just going to keep it 200 by 200. If I um, see what this looks like at the moment, so if I go to uploaded directory and see files, basically that's how big it's going to be. Obviously. 
that will come up as web page cannot be found because we've not created that page yet. Um, so in show files, it's a bit of a complicated but easy type script. You've uh, you've got to know what you're doing inside it. So basically, I'll show you how to do this in a full part, which will be part four, I think. So I'll see you in part four.